your fur that you were trapping, you put your meat or bait on this hook here, and then oh, when no, you hook a, a string on here over and put your bait in line with the barrel. Oh, okay. And then when, and the, then when the animal pulls on it, then or, yeah, I then the um, bullet would fire and hit the animal right in the head. Um, these are really rare. Um, the research I found online, they're worth anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred from the auctions that I've seen in the last few years. Not very many come up for auction, maybe one every couple of years online anyway. Now here's a flask, powder flask I found in the collection that says US LSS on both sides. Um, I had emailed some one of you about it and said um, make sure it's authentic and I show this too. I believe it is um, nothing reproduced looking on it then um, another powder flask over here very hefty in weight for its size and ornate and you can see there it says Colt's patent so this is a Colt powder flask from what we could gather. So you can see some of the condition on it. And then here is the brown barrel. Um, you've take, I've taken pictures of it and you've seen it probably in the pictures. Um, you can see the mark there but it's kind of faint. Um, patent of uh, 1890 from Brown Company. Um, and then there's just some general cannons on the rest of it. Gauge. It says a 10 gauge black powder, blanks only. Um, no other marks on it that I could find. A marble, a little marble gun. Um, let's see this case here. On the top, some nice different pieces. Let's see. Let's see. Let me slide this over. Let's see these pieces here. I'm not sure if these are marked at all. I haven't really looked them, checked them out. Um, Look in here, several, um, several small brass cannons in here, cast iron wheels, um, firecracker type cannons. Um, also, really neat, some really neat pieces in here. And then on the bottom too, same, same deal. Mortars. Okay, hey, here's a continuation of that same case here. Top shelf has some interesting model uh, toy cannons. Um, down here, more brass cannons and cast iron pieces and a mortar here. Mortar bank. Mortar bank. bank. Oh, yeah. Part of one is missing. Oh, parts. yeah. Um, more firecracker cannons and then. More cannons in the front case here. Interesting pieces, all of them. Okay, we'll go up to the top here to this case. Lots of tiny little model toy guns and toy cannons and horses. Can see. Let's go through on this side. This has this is plastic. Looks like here. Some really it's an old iron piece here on the side. If you can see that, it's pretty neat. Um, down here, just some uh, wooden and brass metal pieces. Let's get out of the glare. Of this side here. This section. And 
Okay. I'll stop. Here's a handmade wooden and brass model cannon. Go ahead, John. It says uh, five inch, thirty eight caliber MK XXX. I think this might be made to shoot real thirty eight caliber uh, shells. I'm going to rotate it around. Okay. We have less than a minute left on the recording, so. A lot of yeah. brass. Look up in there. I can see the firing mechanism and all. Mm hmm. Very nice model. A lot of time and energy went into building this, you can tell.